This is our happy knees leg day workout. And this workout is going to build and strengthen your quads, hamstrings, glutes, inner thighs, outer thighs, and calf muscles, all with no lunges and no squats. So if exercises like that tend to bother your knees, this workout is gonna be spot on to help you build and define those legs. And the only thing you're gonna need are your dumbbells. Optional is going to be a booty band or a mini resistance band. Also a mat or a cushy surface because we will be on the ground for some of the exercises. The structure for this workout is gonna be right here and I'm gonna show you our very first exercise. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a Romanian deadlift. So we're gonna do a Romanian deadlift. Next exercise is going to be a calf raise. Then we're gonna use the resistance band for front side leg lifts and we're gonna alternate sides. So that's our first round. Let's get right into this workout. Grab your dumbbells for a <laughs> Hello, grab your dumbbells for Romanian deadlifts and let's do this. All right, let's begin here. Keep your chest up, shoulders rolled down. We're gonna lower that weight, keeping it close to our legs. When you feel that stretch in the back, you're gonna use that weight and pull back up. So you're gonna use the hamstrings and the glutes to pull. Right now, really targeting the posterior chain of your legs, the glutes and hamstrings. Good. Keep that core engaged and pull, squeeze and down. Good. Breathe out. So we work 45 seconds, we'll get 15 seconds, and then we'll go right into calf raises. So you may, if you need um, to hold onto the wall or anything for balance, you can do that. Dumbbells are gonna be optional for the calf raises. Last one, perfect. But calf raises, calf raises, we're just gonna be about shoulder width apart. If you do have those dumbbells, you can keep them down to your side or up at your shoulders but we've got four, three, two, and one. Let's begin. Good. And even if squats don't, or lunges don't tend to bother your knees, this is gonna be an awesome workout to just help mix things up and challenge that lower body in a new way. Good, lift and squeeze. Each exercise we only get to work through one time. Some of the exercises we're gonna do pulses though, so we'll do it twice, but uh, as far as full range of motion, it's just gonna be one time through. So make each exercise count. We're going heavy enough here. Good. And squeeze. Last one, perfect. Now we're gonna set the weights down. If you have that booty band, we're gonna grab it right now, or the mini band, we're gonna put it right here at our ankles. If you have the booty band, it's probably gonna be a little bit more comfortable up here. But if not, we're gonna lift front to side. And front, good. And side. Working the quad here. And then we've got the outer thigh and the glute working. And keep that toe here flexed as you lift because that will help engage that quad muscle even more. Good. Oh yeah, 10 seconds here. And lift. Good, we're gonna go into a pulse next. So we're gonna pulse half of the 45 seconds. Last one. Half of the 45 seconds forward and then out to the side. So going here in just a second. We'll do about 22 seconds, 22 seconds. One second to switch, here we go. Lifting, keeping that toe flex to engage that quad. You should feel the front of your leg here really working. If you need to use something for balance, you can always hold onto a chair, anything you got nearby. Almost there. Getting ready to switch out to the side now. All right, let's switch it out to the side, right to the end. Oh yeah, it's a working. You're rocking it out. Oh my goodness. You gotta stay focused here to keep balance. I'm not focused, I'm laughing, okay? Oh, gotta laugh to keep from crying on this one, I guess. And one. Oh my. Alrighty, feeling good. We're gonna switch it on over. So we're gonna do front 
to side, and then the next exercise will do the pulse. We know what to do. We've done it on the other side. Here we go. Forward and side. Remember, keep the toe flexed so you can engage that quad. Let me just let you in on a little secret. This is gonna help the jogs, the freeze and holds, the jumps, all that on your bike. So these are burning now, but it's gonna help in the long run. My pants are slippery, my band's slippery, all sliding down. But the quad muscle can be kind of challenging to hit if you are not doing the lunges in the squat. So this is a perfect way to target that quad muscle and really work it out. Last one, good, 15 seconds. Whew. All right, you know what to do. We've got the pulse. Here we go. Pulse it out front. Keep that core engaged. That's gonna help you with your balance. So think about squeezing belly button to spine, keeping the shoulders up. My shoulders are over my hips. I'm not down side to side. We are in line here. Good. Almost there. And then we're gonna switch it out to the side. Let's switch it out. Little pulses, little move, big burn. I'm telling you what, I love that when we get those. Whew. Oh my goodness. I'm losing it. I gotta stay straight. Here we go. Five seconds. All right, you did it. Round one. Boom, it's out of here. We are moving on to round two. So, yeah, just get rid of that. We don't need it. We are gonna, we're gonna bring it on down to the ground now. We're gonna work the quads again. This is, I love this exercise, but what I want you to keep an eye on is keeping this foot flex. We're gonna do a seated leg lift. Really gonna target the quad, but again, keep this toe flex. You can see, get your heel up off the ground. You can feel that muscle engage right away. So now we're just gonna lift, small move up and down. Keep the foot flexed, core engaged. No pulses here. So if you were wondering, oh, are we gonna have to pulse this or not? So don't worry. You can keep this leg down too as well if you'd like, or you can keep it bent, but we're still sitting up nice and tall. We've got our core engaged. Just because you're working the legs doesn't mean you wanna give up on the core or anything like that. You still wanna keep your posture up, keeping good form, breathing. Last one, good. Just gonna switch sides. I'll turn this one. So opposite side now, think about it now, flex the foot, get that heel up off of the ground so you can see and feel that quad muscle engage. Here we go, lifting and lowering. You see, we're not coming too far up off the ground. So it just, it's a small move, but it targets that quad muscle. Good, and lift. Really a low impact way to work that lower body here. Over halfway. Good. Keep the foot flexed. Squeeze. Glute bridge is gonna be next. Last one. Perfect, all right, so here you're gonna need dumbbells again. You, well, you can do it without dumbbells as well. We're just gonna be laying on our back, lifting those hips up, squeezing, so grab a weight if you're gonna use that. One or two. All right, laying it. There's a microphone on my back that I forgot about. All right, lowering it down here and squeeze. Squeeze it here. Good, pulse is gonna be next. And squeeze, hold it at the top for just a second. Get that squeeze in, weight is in your heels. Knees and toes are all in line. And squeeze, good. 
breathing. We're gonna pulse it out. Let's do two more reps. Squeeze and squeeze. Good, we're holding it down for just a second and then we're gonna get into that pulse. So we're gonna lift it up. Oh, here we go, let's lift it up. Hold it here with or without weight and let's pulse. Little move, down and up. Keep that core engaged, weight is in your shoulder blades and also in your heels. I'm gonna remind you of form because I wanna make sure that your knees are staying in line with your toes because if they start to fall out or fall, fall in, that can hurt your knees as well. So just make sure form is right on for this exercise because this is such an effective move and I wanna make sure you're getting the most out of it. Squeeze, good. Squeeze, are you feeling the glutes? Yep, this is a booty burner and we are burning. Good. Last one, perfect. Lower it down. The only thing we're gonna do now is switch that foot position. So we're gonna turn it out. Just as if we're doing a sumo squat where your feet are out at an angle, we're gonna do the same with this glute bridge. So still, just because we're out, the knees and toes are in line, but we are lifting here. Squeeze. Working the inner thighs a little bit more with this move because of our positioning. Good, squeeze it at the top. Oh yeah, leg day, hello. We are feeling you. <sighs> Squeeze. Hopefully the knees are pleased with this no squat and no, I had to say it because it rhymed, okay? <laughs> I love the rhymes, so there you go. Knees are pleased. That's my rhyme of the day. <sighs> Almost there. Last one, squeeze it, squeeze it, and lower it. We're gonna pulse that little puppy next. So getting ready. Just a few seconds. Finishing round two out with pulses. Get her on up and let's go. Still in that wide position, weight is in your heels. You can even lift your toes up to make sure that you are not falling forward on the toes. So making sure you're all in the heels, in shoulder blades. Good. Squeeze, squeeze. More than halfway. Then you're gonna get a lovely 30 seconds to let those legs take a break. Last one, and lower it down. Amazing, you can set the weights off to the side because we will not need these again. So let me just set these over here. <sighs> Finishing out now, still on the ground, we're gonna go into donkey kicks, just like this. And then we are gonna go into a fire hydrant. Our leg is gonna be straight. So usually you can modify by keeping a bent knee. If not, we're up like this. I feel like that's a weird camera angle. So I'm gonna start on this side. Donkey kicks, here we go. Keeping that core engaged, you've got your shoulders over elbows, over wrists. Lifting and lowering. Good. Breathing. We are just gonna stay on the same side as we go into that fire hydrant. And then we're gonna pulse the fire hydrant and then we're gonna switch sides. So really working one side and then the other. Break down that muscle so we can build back up stronger. And that is the magic right there. Last one. Good. Now we're gonna do that straight leg fire hydrant. Ooh, breathing. A few seconds left. Again, get your form all in line here. Straight leg, here we go. Keeping that core engaged, tapping and lifting. Good. Breathing. 
pulse will be next. Again, you can bend that leg and just do a fire hydrant. That takes a little bit of the intensity out, but it'll also, if you are, if your form is starting to fail, that will help you keep proper form. Last one. Good. Woo. You can press it back if you need to stretch out the bum a little bit right here. Getting ready for that pulse. We get to switch it on over. Whew. Leg is out. Here we go. Lifting. Little move up and down. Keep that core engaged. Oh yeah. Thighs are burning. Bums are burning. We're working hard. You are doing awesome. Whew. I'm gonna go into bent knee for a second just to pulse it up. Always make that modification if you need to, to make sure your form stays. Core engaged, good. The, the bum is burning. Last one, good. Press it back for just a second. We're going right into that other side. All right. This is it. Same three exercises. Last bit through, donkey kick, here it goes. Keeping that foot flexed, pushing that heel up towards the ceiling. Good. Come on, over halfway. Check your form out right now, keeping that core engaged. And lift and lower. Ooh, so close. Last one. Good, you can press it back if you need to. Then we're gonna get right into our straight leg lift. Again, you can bend the knee if you wanna do it as a fire hydrant. Here we go. Good. I am so glad you joined me for leg day. It is always better to work out with a friend, especially when it is burning like this. You are helping push me along right now, so thank you. Oh, we're halfway. Lift and lower. Oh my goodness. Amazing job. I'm gonna go into fire hydrant for just a few seconds. So close. Good, you can press it back and hold it for a second until we go into those pulses. We're finishing up. This is it. Get your mind right here. Don't give up on this last set. Go all in. We've got 45 seconds. Here we go. Ooh. Come on, make it count. Just a little bit, a little bit to go. And one. Oh, press it back if you need to, hold it there. And then give yourself a round of applause because you did it. That was our happy knees leg day and I hope your knees are feeling happy and your bum and your legs are burning because we worked hard, you rocked it out. Do not forget, grab a stretch. We got some, we got some more burn action, strength building going on right here. So check either one of those out. Thank you again for joining me. You are thebomb.com and I love you.